In this series of videos, I've compiled a list of the very best strategy game deals in the Steam sale, including details of who these games might appeal to and the level of discount you can expect. If you're watching this video after the latest Steam sale, fear not. All of these games are regularly on sale with these discounts. So if they're not on sale when you're viewing this video, they almost certainly will be soon. In this particular video, we're focusing on RTS deals where the games are in their prime, but there's a twist. Rather than just listing out the obvious RTS games you've already heard of, I'm throwing in a few curveballs that RTS fans will enjoy, but they aren't actually RTS games. How exciting! So let's get stuck in. First up, we're actually going to look at two games at the same time, basically because they're so bloody obvious. We have the absolute powerhouses that are Company of Heroes 2 and Age of Empires 2, both well known and highly rated. The risk for new players, if anything, is that these games are actually overrated. Age of Empires 2 was originally released in 1999, but received an updated definitive edition in 2019, whereas Company of Heroes 2 was initially released in 2013. Both games have had sickeningly consistent player numbers since release right up to this day, with a 65% discount on Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition and 75% off Company of Heroes 2, there's no better time to pick these two titans up. Are they overrated? It's subjective of course, but both had a big first act to follow and seemingly pulled it off. I would argue that the real attraction to both of these titles is the strong multiplayer. Both have a single player experience, but it's the pure slickness of the multiplayer offerings that creates the longevity. So no, they're not overrated, in my opinion, and are going from strength to strength, which is why they've jointly earned their place at the beginning of this video. A quick footnote, if you're looking for a great campaign, you might want to consider the first Company of Heroes with a 75% discount too. Following these two blatantly obvious additions to the list, let's look at our first curveball. Not an RTS in the traditional sense, to be honest I'm not sure what to class it as, but I simply had to include it. Oxhole came out of early access in September 2022 and hasn't looked back since. A top-down, massively multiplayer war game Foxhole is about so much more than running and gunning. Almost everything you see and use has been constructed by a player. In order to do that, someone had to harvest resources and process them in a factory to make the refined materials that eventually becomes a weapon, ammunition, a vehicle or a network of bunkers. All players are on the same map, duking it out as either the Wardens or the Colonials. Communication with your teammates over the mic is absolutely key making it a great game to play with friends. Once enough capture points are won, usually after several weeks, a winner is declared and after a bit of downtime it starts all over again. Being handy with a bolt action rifle is useful, but logistics, teamwork and construction make this game the perfect segue for players who enjoy a shooter from time to time, as well as a good strategy game, which is why it deserves a place on this list. With 25% off, there's never been a better time to get involved. Now back to a more traditional RTS. Have you ever played a game where you finish the campaign and have to sit back for a moment and reflect on the journey you've just finished? Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostfront is a bloody mouthful, but is also one of those games. Released back in June 2021, many consider it simply a DLC to the Men of War series, However, the gritty campaign set on the eastern front of World War II is immersive with an insane amount of detail, stealth missions and all-out war. You control individuals and squads, manage their equipment and ammunition to tackle each situation how you see fit. The story is compelling, but the multiplayer skirmish is frantic, including huge tanks commanding the battlefield, digging detailed defences and trench systems for your infantry. The multiplayer does have its performance issues, but taking direct control of a soldier or a tank with either first or third person views may make that up to you. Do bear in mind that you need the Men of War base game in order to play Ostfront, but you can purchase them with a 75% and 50% discount respectively. 
Let's fast forward from the Dark Ages and World War II to a galaxy far, far away. No, wait, rewind to a long, long time ago. Anyway, it's Star Wars Empire at War, which might be the RTS you forgot all about, but is still very much alive and kicking, thanks to an array of absolutely fantastic mods. The graphics have been updated, the big space battles are still there with a ludicrous amount of new factions and ships, if you like a galactic map where you move your fleet, invade planets and build up their infrastructure, the game and mods have you covered there too. Yes, it's an old game, but I would argue strongly that Star Wars Empire at War is in its prime right now because of the amazing mod scene, and with a 65% discount it represents fantastic value for money. It's time for another curveball, and I can already hear the complaints in the comments, but I'm going to do it anyway. Iron Harvest. Originally released in September 2020, the game was a disappointment. We hoped for a resurgence of the RTS genre with a diesel-punk mech-filled RTS using a Company of Heroes template. What could possibly go wrong? The game was never bad as such, but the combination of a high price and a lack of content meant the game was simply not worth the price tag. It wasn't even close, but with price reductions, the release of the Operation Eagle DLC, and the free edition of a Conquer the World style mode, the game has a lot more to offer RTS fans than it did at release. If you've had your fill of Company of Heroes and want something new, it's worth considering Iron Harvest with a discount of 70%. It has a decent set of campaigns with a high tempo skirmish mode. The damage is done with Iron Harvest, it's never going to set the RTS world alight, but my point is it has an outside chance of being your next bargain bucket. Let's finish up with another curveball for strategy fans. Yes, I'm feeling brave. This next game is a first person shooter. So why am I recommending it to RTS gamers? Well, although skill with a gun in this game is important, patience, planning, and strategic thinking will always win over the pure point-and-click reflexes with a gun. I am, of course, talking about Hell Let Loose, which came out of early access in July 2021 and currently has a discount of 33%. It's a first-person shooter set in World War II, it's immersive, it's fun, it has its issues but also has a bunch of new content on the horizon. The feedback I've had from players is that Hell Let Loose is more appealing to strategy fans than Call of Duty or Battlefield players, for example. It's highly rated, the player numbers are strong, and at this price it might be the right game for you right now. I think we can agree that was quite a journey. Some old, some new, some obvious, some not so. Most of these games are either in their prime or have their best days ahead, even if they are actually quite old. But that's enough from me. What would you suggest to someone looking for a new RTS in the Steam sale? Something that's really in its prime. Let me know what you think. See ya.